Hello and welcome to our federal holiday here in the United States called Christmas. So we're just going to talk a little bit today. We have a day off, so let's enjoy our poker chips. I'm just going to talk about some things I like in the world and how my, you know, ideas and tastes have changed over the years. Diving into it, let's talk about dice chips. Okay, well, let's talk about less expensive chips in general. This is where a lot of people start. This is where I started. I remember as a kid, would go to the dollar store and buy some interlocking chips. Okay, these are very light. These feel nothing like casino chips that I was seeing in my youth, right? My, my, we're from originally, my family's from Southern California. I guess originally you could say from all over the world, but I was raised, my father was raised in Southern California and Vegas was where we would stop, right? That's where you go. And so they had Paulson chips. They had some various others we might talk about here. And so for me, these were like really amazing. These are kind of what I expected. And then as a kid, you're not expecting that quality. So dollar store interlocking chips were fine, right? Whatever. Nope, not a big deal. And then you move into college, or at least this was my life. And you find things like dice chips. Now, people write me messages all the time. They're like, what's wrong with dice chips? You know, in international communities, we don't have access to a lot of these other chips. So this is what we have. These are the nicest chips we can buy. And I understand that. Okay, so as a refresher, these are fine. There's nothing wrong with dice chips. I mean, they fun as far as functionality goes, they function as poker chips. Okay, these are red. They are round. They last a long time. They're very durable. Okay. So durability, playability, these are fine. But if you're looking for, you know, an upgrade, it's easy to find things that you could upgrade. Number one, flatness. Can you see how these rock? Have you ever tried to pick up like a stack of dice chips and have them like totally just like explode everywhere because they're not flat? So little things like that, uh, the sound of them, there's no denominations on here. Yes, you can get a magic marker or a permanent marker and you can write you know, denominations on there. And you guess what? That's just as functional as anything else. You don't need hot stamps. You don't need inlays, right? You can just, <laughs> it doesn't matter for a lot of people. I get it, okay? So as far as a functional chip, yes, these are functional. But if you're looking for an upgrade, and that's what we're talking about. So dice chips are kind of the standard. I mean, they're so affordable and they're so prevalent all over the world, so. There you have it. That's that's how I feel about them. They're fine, but could be improved. So in, in places where you can find improvements, why would you not? Why would you not find improvements? And then obviously uh, moving into chips, there are ABS slugged chips. Right now, still one of my favorites are these Outlaw chips, particularly these 25s. I've pulled these out just because I like the color. Yeah, and that, that's ultimately what it comes down to for a lot of people. It's like, I like the looks of these more than these. And we're not going to judge you for that, right? It's a taste thing a lot of times. Sometimes people will admit, like I've openly admit, yeah, you know, like Atlantic Club, these chips, or even like casino chips, these chips are better than these chips. In my mind, they feel better. They look better. They have a better texture. They're more fun to shuffle. I like the permanent inlay. They're more flat. Uh, there's, uh, there's a million reasons why I like these chips, but I like the way these look. I like the bright, happy colors. I don't. I like the the very like bland background here. It looks very old west outlaw. I like them. I think they're well thought out. Same with Tiki Kings, right? I like the look. I just like them. Yes, again, I'll admit openly that I feel like these are of more value, and generally speaking, they sell for more than these. These kind of get close. Uh, what are they selling at now? 80 cents around roughly. It might be a little bit more, you know, and these are, you can find these sometimes for around a dollar a chip. Uh, usually more than that. Either way, these are of more value, generally speaking, than these. And these are obviously, you know, pretty inexpensive. And that's another reason why they're so interesting to me. I can buy a whole bunch of these and not worry about my five-year-old. So things I like, so it kind of evolving. It's like it gets to a point where you don't, I don't need the best. I'm not saying that these are the best. I just, I just point, you know, world top hat and cane, whatever. Um, I'm not looking for premium, primo, nicest chips on the planet. I just need something to function. Going back to the dice chip conversation, right? 
something that functions, something that I like the look of, something that feels okay. These feel okay. These feel better. These feel, these feel good too. These feel a lot better than these. So in my opinion, so <laughs> ultimately you kind of come full circle. Like it's like, oh, well, I want something nicer than these. And then you're like, oh, well, let's look for the best. And you find the best and you're like, oh, sweet. And then you're like, well, we don't really, I want something to play with. Not, you know, this is more like show off, make myself happy. I can sit with this stack in front of my computer watching all kinds of poker on YouTube and I'm happy. So just buy a stack of these and then go out and buy hundreds of Tiki Kings. And that's kind of what I did. Yes, I bought a whole bunch of Cincinnati chips. I love the Horseshoe Cincinnati's, but I hardly ever play with them. They're sitting around. My, my, my brother-in-law also bought a whole bunch of them. I think he sold his on, on eBay recently just because he never uses them. Uh, they're, they're an interesting set, the Horseshoe Cincinnati's. So uh, the other casino chips... Horseshoe Cleveland, you know? You, you know, people complain about the reverse hat and cane. I guess the ones had the top hat and cane, but whatever the mold, whatever, you know, the thought process is, you, lots of people, I mean, these are very functional, but are you really going to buy them? And that's where things like the Milano's come in. I have hundreds and hundreds of Milano's I use for my craps table, right? These are kind of a good mix. I don't really worry about these because they're pretty inexpensive. My boy can damage these. I'm not terribly worried about it. I'd rather have him throw these off of our deck than these onto the street below. But if he does, it's not a big deal. They're Milano's. They're still you can still buy these in bulk. You can, I can go out and just replace chips. I don't worry about color matching. The colors will never match on any well on most chips exactly just by ordering them. Yes, casino great Paulsons, they match colors exactly. Paulson is really good at that. That's one of the reasons why casinos like them. So, man, these Milanos brings back memories. They have a good texture to them. No metal insert. Um, as far as flatness goes, these particular Milanos are not exactly the most flat. Why is that? Probably because of an in probably one of these labels. Uh, whatever. Anyway, so these Milanos, I'm really happy with these Milanos. They smell of kind of plastic. They smell of PVC. When I first got them. That smell has dissipated a long time ago. I'm not sure if it's the Georgia heat or the humidity or the lotions that people wear when they play, when they come over here and play. Speaking of color differences, can you see the color differences here? This is one of like, I think this is probably one of the original ones I bought, really dark. And then they get lighter. And again, you can see smudges from people's lotion and who knows what else people have, you know, do they get dirty? Chips just get dirty. So very happy with the Milanos, but they're not exciting me anymore. They just fill the need and they, they do that job fine. I can't really complain about it. Uh, lots of the stuff that you see me throw in front of the camera is stuff that I'm excited about that I want to buy, not that I already have, if that makes sense. So some things that I really like. Let's just go through some things that I really like right now. I'm still in love with Bud Jones. Bud Jones, every time I see these, I'm like, man, I want to just get hundreds and hundreds of Bud Jones just to enjoy them. I have this little stack of whatever this is, eight, um, chips here which I have in front of my computer a lot and I'll shuffle just because they're different they feel of like a hard rubber like a really hard it's hard to describe how they feel and they kind of stick together so there's kind of a suction when you pick these up which makes them endearing I like it they have, they have character not all chips are like that and I would say very few chips are like that so Bud Jones Every time, it's just my opinion, I feel like everybody should have a stack of Bud Jones because I like them. You know, how, you know how people feel like that? Well, I like them, so I want to share with everybody else. Bud Jones, something I like. Uh, if you remember, I think it was on PokerChipForum.com. Speaking of PokerChipForum.com, thank you. They're our sponsor here. I really liked hot stamps for a while. Probably about a year and a half. I was like, ooh, hot stamps. Now, I like them, but they're not like new and fascinating and super interesting anymore. I kind of go through waves, like I'm sure a lot of you do. So Atlantic Club's not really on my hot list of things that I'm excited about. Outlaw, yes, that we can get a chip like this. Uh, my understanding is a lot of ABS chips are moving to this more sanded finish to remove the flashing, which I like as long as the widths are consistent. So reports are that they're getting better every year. So I'm very happy with how, what I call economy or discount chips, these metal slugged ABS chips are panning out. They're turning into a very competitive option to like say a Milano or the Dunes. 
Uh, I think I have some dunes kicking around here as well. Again, I already have some China clays, Milanos. They're kind of the same material, so I kind of have that need filled, but I like these chips a lot too. Just depends on the week as to which one I would choose. I like the, the blue ones though from the dudes. So these two things I'm really happy with. Uh, casino chips, old hat, and cane. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh dear, let me put these away. Uh, scroll chips I'm always tempted to buy, kind of in the same category as like Outlaw. Kind of maybe more of the, on the price range of like the Milanos, but they're a very inexpensive ceramic that I feel like, you know, would meet my needs. You know, with children running around, they're pretty durable. They're not too expensive. Uh, very, still very impressed with the scrolls. Very, a very good option. Oh, the other thing that I'm excited about are these, these Monaco. I want to get some of these. These are nice chips. I'm just very happy uh, with these. Excited about those. Uh, Tiki Kings, I have plenty of Tiki Kings. Ooh, the plaques I'm excited about. I love plaques. Uh, my family loves plaques. My boy loves plaques. He loves just like... He throws them like, he throws them down like, throw down. <laughs> ah, it's great. The Ascona, I'm also still kind of excited about. I was really excited when I first got these. I was like, wow, these are amazing. Now I kind of get it. They're, they've kind, of, it's kind of settled in, and I admit that they're wonderful, but not maybe on my list of things that I want. I don't know what I would do with these. I have poker. I have like sets. I don't need crap set. Uh, would I spend this much for a set to play with my boy? Probably not. Probably looking more like at this level of um, price. Key West, I'm still very excited about these. There's something that these capture. It might be because it's winter. It gets cloudy and rainy here in Georgia. And these just make me happy. <laughs> Key West, it's just a little bit south of here. Palm trees, I love palm trees. Those big date palm trees. Oh man, I miss California sometimes. So Key West always make me happy. I love how it's like Key West, Las Vegas. Doesn't matter. Those two, two, two of my favorite places, Key West, Florida, Las Vegas, Nevada. Oh, can life get better? It's just a wonderful combination. Um, I rolled these in with the economy chips. These are what a lot of people will start with. These, again, are functional chips. Plastic, no metal in these. I actually, if I had to do it all over again, I'd actually probably buy these over these. And look, they even give you a little white space where you can write numbers. <laughs> get out your Sharpies, everybody. Um, other things I'm excited about, plaques. These these came in this uh, last week. Who is that on the face of that? It's so... Oh, man. I love it. To me, it's just... It's a fun thing. I don't... Uh, I don't, you know... If I don't follow politics very closely, so I don't know everything going on, but all I know is that uh, it's getting pretty divisive politics. There seems to be a pretty... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Polarizing thought process going on in this country. It's like, well, let's forget about compromise and let's just be hard-nosed. I don't know which side. I assume it's both sides. I don't just following it. But anyway, not politically. I think this is hilarious. It's like, I think it would be hilarious if they put Obama on, you know, the 100 or 500 or 50 or something, you know, just like have a 100 Trump and a 100 Obama. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Uh, I love entertainment. That's what this is all about, right? Entertain ourselves with poker. What else am I excited about? These are the, this these are the things that excite me nowadays. I mean, there are some plastic cards. Like here's some faded spade cards. I have the deck right here. I guess that you know is interesting as well. But I don't, I don't know if I'm really excited about that. So, let me know what in the poker world excites you. It could be anything. It could be custom poker tables. It could be custom craps tables shuffle boards uh let me think what else that's not poker related but you know uh let me know i'm interested some there might be something that i'm not even thinking about like uh, automatic card shufflers or decorative lighting mood lighting around your table my name is john hobby channel sponsored by pokerchipforum.com everything in front of the camera i bought with my own money is that true yes 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 all right so and the milanos so I always try to give an honest review, non-biased. PokerChipForum.com helps with that. Thank you so much for PokerChipForum.com. They have a wonderful breakdown calculator as to how many chips of each denomination do I need. Go to the calculator, figure out how much your buy-in is, how many people are going to play, and then it will help you with your purchase decision. Really like PokerChipForum.com. And we have an Amazon shop in the description below. So please visit that shop, help support the channel. Everything you buy through that channel 
I make a few pennies, I make some proceeds from that, and it supports, it all comes back to support this channel. I just love this stuff. I'm looking forward to reading your comments so I can continue bringing you interesting things. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe.